what's up squad so today I wanted to bring you guys a video on how to create your own hardware wallet for all of your cryptocurrencies so you guys are probably aware of the treasure and then like the ledger nano and stuff like that well here is a, a cheap effective secure way um, to do that I'm gonna go through that today and all you need is just a flash drive and then Veracrypt software on your computer but before I get to that, I want to let everybody know that I've jumped on Steemit, and, and, and Steemit has been fantastic as far as, uh, as, as things go. Um, I put up uh, an introduction on myself uh, on Steemit, and it tells you guys really a lot about me, where I came from, where I'm headed, and, uh, and what my plans are. Um, you can see... Uh, some of the some of the details here I give some some information on my security background and uh, and how I got to where I am so it's it's really neat if you guys want to check that out I will have links to that in the description of the video so without further ado let's get back into uh, Veracrypt here so the first thing you want to do is you want to download the Veracrypt software. So you can just go to this website here, veracrypt.fr. I'll have this uh, in the description of the video. And then download whichever version is applicable to you. Also note that the source code is available uh, for analysis. So you don't really have to worry about anything as far as that goes. Um, and it's free software, so it's pretty awesome. So after you download that, you'll be presented with an option here. I'll just minimize this so we have a nice white background that we can work with. Um, you'll be presented with this option and you just want to create a new volume. Okay? So you'll create a new volume and you'll want to encrypt a non-system partition drive. Okay? So then you'll click next and you'll just do a standard volume. Also note that there is a hidden Veracrypt volume option here, okay? Um, it may happen that you are forced by somebody to reveal the password to an encrypted volume. There are many situations where you cannot refuse to reveal the password, for example, due to extortion. Using a so-called hidden volume allows you to solve such situations without revealing the password to your volume. So, in other words, you can have two different volumes, right, where one you can reveal that you have no data present and then you have you'll have another password to uh, a hidden volume where your actual data is stored right so that may be useful if you guys want to set that up as well but the standard veracrypt volume is what we're going to go with today and then we're just going to select our device in this case we're going to be using a 60 gigabyte um, flash drive here 64 gigs but 60 gigs recognized by the operating system so we're just going to select the first partition click next create an encrypted volume and format it that's exactly what we want to do you also can encrypt the partition in place if you'd like so if you already have your keys on a flash drive and everything like that you can encrypt it um, with the data in place if you'd like so we'll just proceed there and then the encryption algorithm we're going to use is AES which is really secure and then also SHA uh, 512 so we'll proceed and it's identifying the size we'll click next and then we're gonna just input our password um, here we go okay there's our password we'll proceed with that and now you have an option here um, it basically says do you intend to store files larger than four gigabytes in this Veracrypt volume you know, wallet files for cryptocurrencies aren't really over four gigabytes. Um, you can adjust this if you'd like. It's uh, it's totally up to you at that point. Basically, you have to ask yourself: Are you going to be storing any other data on there other than cryptocurrency wallets? Right. That's just going to determine what file system the flash drive is going to use. In this case, we're going to say no because I'm just going to be using cryptocurrency wallets on here. So it's going to be using FAT32, and now we're just going to move the mouse around for randomization for the encryption. Now that that's done, we can format it. Basically, it's saying it's going to delete all of the data and it will be lost. Yep, that's fine. There's nothing on this flash drive. It's a new flash drive. 
And then this is this process here is going to take about two hours or so. And then once this is done, all the data all the data on the drive um, will will be encrypted. So any data that you put on the drive will also be encrypted after the fact. So it's a it's it's a pretty awesome process. I really like the fact that the software is free and it's open source. Um, I've been using it for quite a while now and I've been really happy with it. It's uh, safe, secure, it, it works and it's cheap, right? And I'm cheap, regular people are cheap. Um, so if you can save a little bit of money, why not, right? Especially if you if you can't get your hands on a uh, like a, a Ledger Nano or, or a Treasure. Um, basically the only difference between this software and the Treasure or the Ledger Nano is they have a few more bells and whistles uh, as far as the uh, application interface goes. Um, they do also, like the Ledger Nano I do believe has uh, some extra hardware embedded within it, um, but as far as security goes, uh, these are pretty bulletproof methods. Um, as far as things go so they're uh, they're pretty solid so we'll come back in about two hours or so when this drive is fully encrypted and then we can proceed to drag some of our wallet files on there and secure them okay so now that you've taken a deuce cracked a beer had some dinner and come back to this and it's all done we're ready to rock and roll so just read this notice it's pretty important um, basically it's saying to mount this volume, click Auto Mount Devices in the main Veracrypt window. Uh, don't use the drive letter I because you have to mount this now and then authenticate through Veracrypt to decrypt the drive and access the files. So we'll just click OK. The Veracrypt volume has been successfully created. Uh, now we can just pass this part next. Now we're just going to cancel that. Bring Veracrypt up one more time here. And we're going to select a device, partition, the same partition that we uh, encrypted here. We're going to select that. And then we're just going to click mount. And now we have to just put in our password that we made earlier. Okay. And now it's going to mount that drive and decrypt it. Okay, so now that we have the drive mounted, we can just drag it over local disk J. And if I'm just going to put a file on that for you guys so that you can see exactly what is going on. Okay. So we're just going to use this nice text document. So we're going to copy it over and now it's on here it's secured now what I'm gonna do is just dismount the volume and now that that's done that file can no longer be accessed right we have to remount the drive and then enter in our password in order to access that text document again so if you have your cryptocurrency uh, wallet files on here they cannot be accessed or even identified in Windows until you decrypt the drive by putting in your password. So we'll just put in our password once again. Okay, we click OK. And now it's just decrypting the 60 gigs of data that's on the drive there. And then we should be able to see the text document once it's been mounted in the J drive. There we go. And here's our text document. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. But otherwise, thank you guys for tuning in. I really hope this helps you guys out and saves you a few bucks. If you guys want to see what I'm up to more recently, check me out on Steemit. I'm going to be posting quite a few more um, posts on my blog about some more security concepts and, and some really interesting things um, that I'll be working with uh, over the next little while here. So again, thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, stay regular.